in four quarterfinal meetings between the counties. 25 yellow cards have been shown, but not one red. 11 times they've met between league and championship since Mickey Hart took over Tyrone in 2002, and it's five wins each and one draw. Clearly, Dublin and Tyrone have the X factor. Let's see what this evening performance will bring. Joe McQuillan from Caelan County Cavan is the man in charge. He was also in charge of the Ulster Championship clash between Donegal and Tyrone. Dublin won the toss. They've decided to play from left to right. Rain hasn't dampened the spirits of the fans. Hopefully, this was going to be a really, really good game of football. And where we go, the All-Ireland quarter-final, the last to be decided. The winners will play Donegal, the Ulster champions, the end of August. Coming down, Paris Paul Flynn lays it off. Bernard Brogan under a little bit of pressure. First ball for Joe McMahon. Going forward, Conor Gormley. Good ball in towards Mark Donnelly, who's been in outstanding form in the championship, and it's the very first score in Croke Park. He's been scoring really consistently well. Two goals and six points from play in the last three matches, and he puts Tyrone on their way. Yes, and he gives Tyrone a much different dimension. Broke off Rory O'Carroll very well, shot a beautiful point. Brian McGuigan. Dangerous enough ball to Rory O'Carroll. Long ball down for his Alan Brogan, wearing 11, but a corner forward gives it to the brother. Under severe pressure, Philip Jordan is back there helping out Joe McMahon. Easy ball for Pascal McConnell. Philip Jordan. A little bit of pressure. Floating one in is Paul Flynn. It's a great ball. Brogan! Brilliant save by Pascal McConnell. One minute, 40 seconds gone, and we already have drama at headquarters. Sweet ball into Brogan. He let fly, and McConnell was catlock and chillic, knocking it out for a 45. Yeah, that's a wonderful save by McConnell. It must be said, the flight of the ball into Brogan was perfect. He probably could have taken it on a yard or two further, but he certainly brought the wonderful save out of Pascal McConnell. Stephen Cluxton is now joint third top scorer for Dublin in the championship with six points. He's level with Dear McConnell. Only the Brogan brothers are ahead. Three against Leach, two against Kildare, one against Wexford. It's going straight between the posts for his first in this All-Ireland quarter-final. He's more than just your regular keeper. What about this, though, for a save? McConnell had to stretch. Just look at this for scale by Bo Brogan. He was going for the corner. Here comes McConnell, finger-tipping, out for a 45. Kick out by Pascal McConnell. Breaking ball, as always, in Gaelic football will be crucial. Barry Cahill's tactic will be interesting on the 40. Again, they seek and find Bernard Brogan. Comes back outside to the brother, Alan. Given a little bit of space. Thought about having a go, decides to retain possession. Dear McConnell, Brogan went for the return. Connolly is forced out to the 45. Chance here for Paul Flynn, floating one in again. The rain, of course, having an effect just uh, unfortunately for Brian Cullen slipping as that ball came in. Connor Gormley going forward. From Carrick Moore will always be remembered for that great block down in the All Ireland final of 2003 when Stevie McDonald was through on goal. Cullen Kavner under severe pressure. James McCarthy was overdoing it bit over exuberant and there's a free in for Tyrell. Yeah he overcooked the tackle that time, oh came God. in on Kavna and gave away an unnecessary free. Gives it a very good opportunity uh, for Sean Kavna to open his account. Anytime you have your arms up around the neck you're giving the referee the opportunity to call a foul against you. 
Sean Kavna, All Ireland minor medalist 2001. Gets his first point in this quarter final. Stephen Cluxton's kick out. Goes well, it should have gone to Sean Kavda. Philip Jordan is back there. And the tackling just a little bit overcooked. Comes far as Colin Kavna. Nice ball in towards Old Mulligan. Under severe pressure from three Dublin players. Nipping in is Marty Penrose. Bursting forward. Back out far is uh, Mark Donald. Calling outside. It is Peter Hart. Floating it in. It's a difficult angle for him. Ball is wide. Captain of the Tyrone under 21 team this year. Nephew, of course, of this man, Mickey Hart, who has guided his county to three All Ireland titles. Wonderful achievement. Kick out again from Cluxton. Comes down this time to Dennis Bastic. There's a little tug on Barry Cahill's jersey there. Went unnoticed. Sean O'Neill was the guilty party. Linesman indicates it's a sideline ball to Tyrone that was quickly taken. Gormley lays it off. Brian McGuigan takes up the responsibility. Lovely getting it into the, the old boys on the block still can produce the magic. The intended pass to Peter Hart intercepted. Michael Darat McCauley recovered from that trouble. It's Kildare. Good to see him back. Barry Cal. Kind of an open secret around Dublin that he was going to start in the 40 because of his uh, work rate in that area. Here's a chance for Dermot Connolly. With a little help with the post, puts it over the bar. Really good score. Scored 1 3 against Leash. He finally beat the Leash goalkeeper, Owen Cullerton. Wisely taking his point. Yeah, but you've got to credit the pass that time from Cahill. It really took the Tyrone defender out of the play and just beautifully notched over the bar by Connolly. Took his time, loads of confidence. Been marked at the moment by Justin McMahon, but getting on top of McMahon early on. Fine kick out by Pascal McCollum. Colin Cavanagh goes up for it. Paul Flynn gathers. Sent it into space. Brogan slipping, sliding, but above all, retaining possession. Lays it off as Barry Cahill. Dublin captain Brian Cullen. The reinforcements come from left half back. It's Kevin Nolan sending one in towards Bernard Brogan. Keeping him company is Joe McMahon. Ball inside is not a great one and well gathered by Kevin Hughes. He was back there helping out his defence. He gives it to Sean Kavna. Footballer of the year, 2008. Just took his eye off it. Lays it off far as Mark Donnelly. Good ball car. 27 years of age to Philip Jordan. Coming through the centre is Colin Kavna. Good work by Tyrone. Owen Mulligan was calling for it outside. Slips one through. Far as Brian McGuigan from Art Bowl. Trying to get inside Kevin Nolan. Still McGuigan. Needs to go back outside. It's not a good ball to Penrose. There's a chance here. Kevin Hughes has a pop. And that ball is wide. Second wide of the match for Tyrone. Kick out into the middle. Gathered this time by Paul Flynn. Dear McConnell. The overlap is provided by Alan Brogan. Bernard, the brother, is going for it. But Alan, the senior, is kicking it in. It's floating like a butterfly. It is beautiful to watch. Alan Brogan gets a fantastic point. Right option, right call. Yeah, and speaking about right options, right call, credit Stephen Cluxon with his kick out. He's been noted for taking short ones up to now. Today he has kicked a few very good long kick outs. That one was won cleanly, transferred forward quickly. Great end product to it. Pascal McCollum, All Ireland minor medalist 1998, part of the double under 21 team. There's a little bit of pulling and dragging on Michael Dara McCauley by Kevin Hughes. So this is going to be a free for the Leinster champions. Cullen from Scarry's Harps. Captain Dublin under 21s to a Leinster title in 07. He can play centre back. He can play wing forward. Down fires Bernard Brogan. Son of Bernard of the star of the 70s and Brogan causing problems. Ball across. 
But there was nobody there except Philip Jordan, but it wasn't very far away from Michael Darrow McCauley. Sean O'Neill. This lad is a good footballer. Finally getting his place this season. First choice. Race for possession. It's Keane O'Sullivan. Recovered from a hamstring injury. Kilmerker Krogsman. Looking sharp. Wonderful athlete. Student, former student of Black Rock College. Under pressure, Barry Cow. Dear McConnell. St. Vincent's man. All Ireland club medalist back in 2008 when the manager was the full forward. That's Pat Gilroy. Floating ball. Coming across, gathered here this time by Sean Cavanagh, helping out his defence to Joe McMahon. And it's all hustle and bustle. There's no time around here for a cup of coffee. Here's Sean Cavanagh, under pressure again from Brian Cullen. They know they have to prevent Cavanagh from making these penetrating runs. He gives it to the younger brother, Cullen. Staying with him, Michael Dara McCauley. Here's Owen Mulligan. Diagonal ball is the plan. Over there is Marty Penrose. Penrose and Mulligan, first choice, lovely turn inside. Keane O'Sullivan, great block down by O'Sullivan. Comes to Mulligan, lays it off. There's a chance for McGuigan. And Stephen Cluxton will be there, and so too will be James McCarthy from Ballymont Pickups. Michael Darrow McCauley just showing a little bit too much to Peter Hart. James McCarthy is available, takes the challenge from the captain of the under-21 team in Tyrone this season. Alan Brogan helping out his defence. Lays it off to Dennis Bastick from Temple Oak Sing Street. Survives the pressure and goes back to gather. Kevin Nolan. Good ball. Jim McConnell on the turn. It's looking good. And the Davin end like it. So too. Hill 16. Yes, that's all down to good quality long ball coming in. And once more, Dear McConnelly loses his marker very easily. The Tyrone full back line are not tight enough on their opposition. There's great defending at the other side by the Dublin defence. Great block of Mulligan, great block again of McGuigan, it must be said. So at one end, the Dublin defence is very tight. The Tyrone fence is somewhat loose. Kick out. Got it almost by Sean Cavan. He does now. Barry Cowell puts in the challenge to slow Kavanagh down. Referee says play on. Here's Conor Gormley in his ninth championship season. He's uh, fouled. And that's going to be a free for Tyrone. Well, 12 minutes gone, and it's the first break in the action. That's right, Mark. Well, I've heard the term Helter Skelter before, but it certainly applies to the game, this game the way it has started. It's been most enjoyable, very open, great contrast with both teams and the way they're playing.